Okay, so this is um, the help uh, help tutorial for uh, this little application I've made called Crosshair. Um, the whole reason why Crosshair exists is because of well, screen tablets like this, where sometimes you know you might be sitting right over here, you might wind up in a situation where your your cursor isn't always visible. Um, sometimes your pen may cover it up. You know, if you're s sitting over here or anything like that. You know, there aren't always going to be situations where you can actually see your cursor, especially if you happen to be holding your pen straight up and down like that. Um, there's going to be times, you know, when you want to angle your pen for certain special brushes and you can't see your cursor. So what I've done is I've created this little application um, which sits in your task tray. So the idea is that, you know, after you download the program, um, here it is, you know, there's a, you can just uh, fire it up. It adds itself to your task tray down here. And you're going to have to add it. There's a little button that says, there's a little option that says toggle program. You can just enable it um, for whichever programs you want. So I'm going to hit toggle program. I'm going to click the, the program that I want it to work for. In this case, it's ArtRage. It's going to ask me if I want to enable it. Yes, there it is. It's enabled. And now you can see that there's a, a full screen crosshair that appears for ArtRage. Um, and the nice thing about this uh, crosshair is that it's it updates very quickly. It's uh, fully, you know, it, it you know shows up, you know, it takes it, it basically the crosshair extends to all of the uh, corners of the screen. Um, if I have a gray background, you see that that the color um, is always visible even over the gray background. And if I'm on white, it'll change and it'll become a black cursor. If I'm on black, if I'm sitting over top of a black background like this, it'll change and it'll become white. So it's a cursor that is almost always visible. It changes its color um, according to whatever color pixel is underneath your cursor. Um, the other nice thing about this uh, program is I programmed it so that even if I'm on another desktop, there's a touchscreen monitor here. You can see it's visible on that other desktop. And it's also visible. I've actually got three monitors. So as you can see, it's, it's visible on all three of my monitors um, there. So it supports multiple monitors, as many as you have. I have four monitors running right now, and it works on all of them, and it will dynamically figure out on startup, you know, which, uh, which monitors you've got. So, yeah, and the other thing about it is I've only enabled it for ArtRage, so if I click it on, if I click on the desktop, then you see it goes away. I click there, it enables itself for that. I can, you know, bring up Firefox over here. As you can see, it's not working on Firefox right now, but I can just right-click it, hit the toggle program button, click uh, Firefox, and ask me if I want to enable it. Hit yes. There, now it's enabled for, for Firefox. Not enabled for my desktop. Enabled for ArtRage. There. So it only works you know, on whatever programs you tell it to um, by using the toggle program function. And if you don't want it to work for, say, Firefox, you can right-click it, toggle the program, click Firefox. Asks me if I want to disable it. So there it is. I can just hit yes, I want to disable it there. And now it's only enabled for ArtRage. So you can turn it on, you can turn it off like that. You can tell it to disable altogether, in which case there, it will just, it never shows up. You can enable it again. And just clicking on this icon here allows you to enable or disable it. So you don't have to necessarily go through all the menus. Um, finally, um, you can change the opacity. So if you right click that, It'll ask you to enter a number between 0 and 255. So, you know, 255 is full opacity, 0 is no opacity. You can have it like a semi-transparent cursor at like 127. And yeah, so I can say like 127. There it is. Now it's like a, a half transparent on ArtRage. Or I can set it to even lower, like let's say uh, 64. There, now it's, it's even fainter. So lots of... Um, that, that setting is saved in the in an, an e file. There's a crosshair.ini file that, that is uh, sitting in the same directory that the executable is. Um, if you find it useful, you can just right click and choose about. And if you hit OK, then that'll bring you to um, the, the, the donation page. If you just hit cancel, which it's set to by default, it will go to cancel. Um, then you can just you know go out of there. It will not nag you for any of that stuff. And if you right click and choose help, then it will bring you right back to this tutorial video, which is still being recorded and doesn't exist yet. So anyway, the download link will be in the description. Uh, if you like the program, you know, please uh, do consider donating. Uh, whatever you want to donate is fine by me. Uh, money's money. Anyway, um, hope you find this program useful. Take care.